Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David here. We are back with another video. Now in this video guys, we shall be discussing some NFL rumors that's been going on the past couple weeks. Now I've never talked about this on my channel, but I decided to talk about today. And what we're going to be talking about today is going to be Aaron Rodgers possibly leaving Green Bay and heading to a different team. Now in the past couple weeks, past couple months, Aaron Rodgers has let the Green Bay Packers know that he is very upset with the team and he does not want to return to the Green Bay Packers when it comes now when it comes to Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers obviously Aaron Rodgers is the reigning NFL MVP when it comes to the 2020-2021 NFL season and he'll be going into another season but he did not attend the OTAs now mandatory minicamp is going to be starting very very soon now it'll be interesting to see because if Aaron Rodgers does actually miss this then we'll know really how Aaron Rodgers actually feels because if he does miss this, the Packers can legally fine him, you know, like uh, a hefty amount of money. But I'm pretty sure Aaron Rodgers doesn't really care about that because Aaron Rodgers made a decent amount of money. Aaron Rodgers is a Super Bowl champion. Aaron Rodgers, I just want to say this, guys. I do believe Aaron Rodgers will be will be leaving Green Bay. That's my honest opinion. I do think Aaron Rodgers will be leaving Green Bay. One reason why. He's been treated with disrespect. Since Aaron Rodgers got drafted by the Green Bay Packers... They've never drafted a weapon for Aaron Rodgers in the first round. They never drafted a weapon for Aaron Rodgers in the first round. Last year, they traded up to get a quarterback in Jordan Love, who they're not even very confident about, apparently according to rumors. They're not even very confident about Jordan Love. And now that Aaron Rodgers wants out, they're doing everything that Aaron Rodgers doesn't want. They got rid of his favorite, I think I think they got rid of his quarterback coach that he very likes so much. He does not like the GM. Obviously, the Packers do not have an owner, so there's nobody above the GM that he can go to and discuss this. And he does currently have a contract with the Green Bay Packers, but I'm pretty sure Aaron Rodgers still does want to leave Green Bay. Now, when it comes to the team that I think has the most likely option, or would be possibly the most likely positive place, for him to succeed and to f possibly get his second NFL Super Bowl and a, and be a two-time Super Bowl champion, that one team we're going to be talking about is going to be the Denver Broncos. The reason why I say the Denver Broncos is because Denver Broncos are loaded. The Denver Broncos are loaded when it comes to NFL players. I mean, let's take a look at the wide receivers. They got Jerry Judy last year. They got Corlin Sutton. Corlin Sutton um, as a wide receiver. They got, who was it, Noah Fant as a tight end. Then they got another tight end. Their offensive line is getting better. And then when it comes to the defensive side, they got Bradley Chubb. They got Justin Simmons. They got uh, Vaughn and Miller still on that definite defense. So their defense... Is definitely a surefire thing. I think Denver's only one piece away from being a legit Super Bowl contender. And Drew Locke, I do feel sorry for Drew Locke. But Drew Locke is not the guy. Teddy Bridgewater is not the guy. If Denver really wants to win a Super Bowl now before Von Miller retires, and Bradley, well, I don't really know what's going to happen with Bradley Chubb. But if the Denver Broncos really want to win a Super Bowl, they're going to have to trade for Aaron Rodgers and if they trade for Aaron Rodgers I say do this I know Drew Locke is not the guy but I would trade Drew Locke two first round two first round picks one next year and one the year after to get for Aaron Rodgers that I think would definitely work out because yes you'd be losing two first round draft picks one next year and one the year after that but you be getting a quarterback who can play another two to three seasons that can make up for you. And the thing is, the thing is, they trade those draft picks. It's not going to be very high draft picks because with Aaron Rodgers on that D on that Denver Broncos team, that Denver Broncos team is probably going to be at least the second best team in that division. And let's take a look at that division. That division would have Patrick Mahomes as the best quarterback in that in the in the AFC West. Then they would have San Diego or LA Chargers now with Justin Herbert. Then they would have the Oakland Raiders or Las Vegas Raiders who would probably be considered the worst team in that division, which right now I'd probably say the worst team in that division is probably between Oakland, uh, I keep saying Oakland, Las Vegas or Denver. 
But if Aaron Rodgers were to be on that Denver team, if Green Bay were to trade Aaron Rodgers to the Denver Broncos for two first-round picks and Drew Locke, and Drew Locke has had a lot more experience in the NFL than Jordan Love has, so that would be a decent thing for the Packers. And plus, they would technically have a young quarterback that they really would have to pay because obviously Drew Locke came in the second round, and they would have two first-round picks next year and then two first-round picks the year after that. So that would be a very good option for Green Bay if they want to rebuild the future without Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, they would have to take a cap penalty when it comes into this, but I think it would be worth it because you would get a young quarterback who has experience in the NFL, and then you'd be able to get rid of a problem or or a problem that the that the Packers the Packers team considers a problem, even though the GM I think has already said that he doesn't want to trade Aaron Rodgers or Aaron Rodgers is not gonna be traded. And I just don't honestly believe that. I think before then, before the start of the 2021 season, Aaron Rodgers will be traded to the Denver Broncos, and Aaron Rodgers will probably not win the Super Bowl with Denver Broncos in his first season. But second season, I definitely would. I I wouldn't put it out of a doubt. He's definitely get if he goes on if he oh um, if he goes on that Denver Broncos team, we're gonna have Aaron Rodgers versus Patrick Mahomes twice, twice, possibly even three times if they go over for the AFC Championship game. That would be three times in one year. The two of the best transcendent throwers, passers of the game, going against each other two to three times a year. For the next two to three years, I definitely take that. So in terms of Aaron Rodgers actually leaving Green Bay and being traded, I think Aaron Rodgers, if he does end up leaving Green Bay, he will definitely head to the Denver Broncos. And I saw it, I've already saw in the tweet, the tweet will be right here, of uh, Patrick Mahomes, you know, like, you know, like tweeting at at you know, like Aaron Rodgers to come to the AFC West and play alongside, or somebody between Aaron Rodgers to come play along the AFC West and play against Patrick Mahomes. But, yeah, I would just love to definitely see that. So that's why I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be going to the Denver Broncos. But, anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please do smash the like button. I'll be posting more sports content for you guys to see in the coming days. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell notification so you know my videos go live. In my next video, guys, I will have a YouTube. I will have a schedule of the videos, specific videos I'm going to be uploading because I have a new schedule. So you won't see specific content coming out random days. You'll have a content coming out each and every week on a certain day. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and get ready for that. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.